Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, magandang araw po. Uh, welcome po sa aking YouTube channel. Uh, ito po ay isa na naman pong video na alam kong magiging kapakipakinabang para sa ating lahat. Pero bago ko po simulan, gusto ko pong uh, anyayahan kayo. Subscribe to my channel and uh, share na rin po, pakishare na rin po para po uh, malaman ng iba na meron po tayong ganitong klase ng Uh, video. So, uh, ito pong video ito ay sasagutin ko po ang limang katanungan. There are five questions sent by my by my students to answer. So, gusto nilang sagutin ko ang mga tanong na ito. So, ito po. Um, simulan na po natin. Ano? I'll read the first question. How do you know if a person is lying? Oh, Paano nga ba malalaman kung ang isang tao ay nagsisinungaling? Yan, ako, mukhang mahirap pong sagutin ang tanong na yan. Pero, meron pong sagot sa tanong na yan, ano? If you know the story of Pinocchio, alam niyo po ba yung kwento ng Pinocchio na isang matandang kwento ng pambata kung saan na uh, yung bata ay... Um, lumalaki yung ilong kapag uh, nagsisinungaling ano so yung palang kwentong yon ay merong touch of truth merong palang konting katotohanan yung yung kwentong yon ano because um, uh, there was a study conducted by many experts that when a person tells a lie there is a tissue in his nose that swells so Um, the tendency is it becomes itchy so when a person is telling a lie and he is scratching or, or rubbing his nose that is the manifestation na ang isang tao pala ay nagsisinungaling no? so alam na natin ha? kapag meron tayong Uh, kin kinakausap especially when you are confronting a person and asking if he's telling a lie at siya ay nagrarab ng nose at nag-scratch nag ng nose yon that is the manifestation that he is telling a lie okay no i hope that the question is answered next question pangalawang tanong po ay ito po ang pangalawang tanong Bakit po ba yung letters sa keyboard ay hindi nakaayos ng sunod-sunod? Ay oo nga ano, bakit nga ba? Bakit nga ba yung mga yung nasa keyboard natin eh hindi A B C D E F G H I J na no? hindi sunod-sunod ang mga letra. No? Yung pong uh, keyboard uh, was invented by Christopher Latham in 1873. Ano pa noon, keyboard typewriter, no? Uh, nagkaroon ng problem uh, with, the, with the type bars when they were um, when they were inventing the, the um, keyboard typewriter, the problem that they have encountered is yung mga type bars ay nagka-clash. There was a clashing of the of the letters in the type bars, no? So, in order to solve the problem, they set apart all the letters that are always used, no? In order to avoid clashing of the letters. So, pinaghiwa-hiwalay yung mga mga letters na Uh, madalas gamitin like A, E, and I the vowels are the most used so pinaghiwahiwalay nila para hindi nagbubungguan yung mga pag tinatype mo yung typewriter hindi nagbubungguan pero yung, yung ating uh, keyboard naman sa cellphone is not already like that pero since then uh, dahil doon mula noon yung keyboard ganun na po yung itsura niya Okay, I hope that is answered already. So, let's go to the next question. The next question is, Gaano po katagal kayang huminto ang paghinga ng isang tao? Ano? 
Oh, so, ilang ilang uh, minuto nga bang kayang huminto ang paghinga ng isang tao? Kaya ba na isang oras? No? Probably not. No? Hindi siguro, hindi siguro kaya ng isang oras. So, uh, an average human can hold his breath for only about one minute. So, one minute lang pala ang kaya ng isang tao. No? Um... And um, in addition, yung palang mga, there are animals that can hold their breath uh, longer, longer than human beings. So yung katulad ng uh, beaver o yung, yung uh, parang, parang daga, ano, uh, they, they can uh, hold their breath for 20 minutes no while yung longest the longest that that the an, the longest animal that can hold its breath the longest uh, time the animal can hold its breath is 2 hours at yon ay isang battle nose whale no yung isang battle nose whale uh, can hold its breath for 2 hours so yun yung pinakamatagal so, daig pala tayo ng uh, mga hayop. I hope that is answered already. Let's go to the uh, fourth question. The fourth question is, Mahilig po ako sa peanut butter. Totoo po bang nakakatigyawat ang peanut butter? <laughs> Ayan, meron akong tigyawat. Um, while it, it, you have to be very careful when you are eating peanut butter pero masarap yung peanut butter but we we know that the uh, peanut butter is full of proteins you know that's why we we like to eat uh, peanut butter dahil dun sa protina na nakukuha sa kanya maraming protina but uh, there are also lots of fatty acids in the peanut butter that is harmful to our heart so um, meron din siyang fatty acids na hindi uh, tama, hindi, uh, hindi healthy sa ating heart. Ano? So, in order to avoid or in order to be careful in, in eating peanut butter, dapat daw according to, to, uh, to the U.S. study, um, merong study conducted by the U.S., ang pinaka- masustansya daw o pinakmainam kainin na peanut butter ay yung uh, naka, nasa ibabaw yung oil. No? So, when you, when you go to the grocery store or you buy peanut butter, ang piliin nyo yung nasa ibabaw yung oil at yun ang healthy na kainin. So, you, you can avoid eating too much fatty acids. So, yun po ang uh, sagot sa tanong. Okay. The last question is Ito po yung huling tanong. Meron po bang benefits ang smoking? Yan. Ako, alam na alam natin yung smoking. Ano, very recently lang ay pinagbabawal ng ating presidente ang bathing. Ano? Uh, but there was a law uh, uh, made by, by the president himself through executive order number 6 which is the establishment of a smoke-free environment in in almost all public places and uh, uh, even in enclosed places in the Philippines. You know? and, and te, in other words, we have strictly no smoking in the entire Philippines. You know? uh, ano ba yung beneficyo kasi ng smoking? Meron ba? No? That, um, we all know that... Uh, it can shorten the lifespan of a person uh, age 35 pa lang can, uh, you can die at the age of 35 y you're almost losing 25% uh, of your life expectancy you know? so uh, benefits of smoking meron, US, meron din na beneficyo meron din benefits of smoking according to the study conducted by the US it was found that each pack of smoke um, each pack of smoke cigarettes 
can save the country. No? $1.19 in pension and social security payments and another 22 cents in nursing home expenses. So, yan yung nasa-save ng, ng U.S. Um, in uh, in smoking, you know, because there are lots of people who are smoking. So, dahil, what is the reason for that? You know, what's the reason? Ano daw ang, ano daw ang uh, dahilan? You no, know? because the average smoker dies younger than everyone else. That is according to Newsweek. Na? So, yan po yung mga dahilan. So, meron din palang beneficyo ang, ang smoking. It can save a lot of money uh, to the government because they, they uh, lessen the, the, be, the uh, people who are given benefits now in Social Security and even in... in uh, in uh, nursing home expenses, no? So, uh, yung mga pension, nababawasan yung bibigyan ng pension. So, that's the the reason, that's the benefit of smoking. So, nasagot na po natin lahat ng limang katanungan. So, um, I'll see you again in our next video. Salamat po!